Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Tuesday episode of Metopia Daytime here on Game Boy TV as we continue to make our way through the Castle Annex, which has proven to be quite a challenge, uh, to say the least. Um, particularly that one enemy, the Red Dragon, which attacks twice. And I think that's really the kicker here, that the fact that it attacks twice... And it doesn't even help that it does that that fire breath does triple digit damage to not one but all our our team members. So obviously we have a lot of work to do. Uh, usually third level 37 is a very high level, um, especially when you consider that level 50 is the only uh, is the highest level um, one party member can go, one team member. Um, and then you also have the fact that uh, that that Grub can also level up to can also um, be raised to 99, as well as friendship levels. And you see it for yourself in the video. We are nowhere close to level 99 with any relation uh, in terms of any relationships within the uh, within the entire party, and we are nowhere near close to even uh, uh, plus 40 on any of the stats. Um, that were gained through, that were raised through the use of grub. So, a lot working against me, but uh, all it does, all we need is just to, you know, find a good wheel like this one. Has a large blue area where we can win tomato spaghetti. And if we can find a one wheel that can give us Jolly John tickets, that'll also uh, help a lot. Uh, it doesn't help landing in that gray area, but we can try again as we have 79 game tickets left. So let's change around the party now that everybody is healthy. So let's get Chan Chan, Kristen, Isaiah, and Bust. So this is how we're, how we're going to do today's episode. We're just going to go one more, one more time on this location and just take that path going north. So we're going to have to head to the middle and then head to the top. And then we're gonna do the uh, do the boss battle. Here we go, the Red Dragon. This time we're going to use shield sprinkles on everyone. Protect everybody. Alright. <laughs> sometimes it's your sometimes it's just better to be lucky that an attack like the righteous anger works. Bonus experience points, 3,550 we can give to Kristen and possibly level her up to level 37. There we go. So, <laughs> this almost is like, this kind of almost makes up for the beginning of uh, yesterday's episode. But we were ready to fight right there, you know. We had those shields, shield sprinkles ready. And this time we only have to face two moldy mummies. Alright. Going after Chan Chan. 
Chan Chan's weapon. Oh man, and Bust's frying pan as well. Bat Tornado. Rock Rain. And you know what's amazing about these last two battles? This is a rare chance that I actually get to see two consecutive damage-free battles. We have not lost one single, not one of, not one of our members lost uh, HP in these two battles. Again, all thanks to the righteous anger and the fact that those two moldy mummies uh, attack by just taking the weapons and not necessarily doing any direct damage. But uh, right now, we've got 30 pieces of grub, which means a full meal is uh, on tap for everybody. Let's uh, get some mummy jerky. Fed, let's see here. Let's give one to Don. Alright, we're just gonna give them to the people who, uh, who, are, who like these mummy jerkies. Alright, such as Isaiah, right there. And then... Hmm. Let's see what Anya thinks of them. Yes! And then some... Rare butterfly honey for MP. Let's see what Kristen thinks. Oh, oh well. Alright, next we've got dragon fruit. Dawn can try it. Okay. And Puppet Pepper for magic and speed. Let's see what Jen thinks. Oh! oh. Doggy Donut. Let's see what Bust thinks. Oh, come on. And we got sandwiches for HP. Let's get that to Amy. See what she thinks. There we go. And Chan Chan has not tried the rare tenderized Tartare. Okay. And then finally, who have we not fed? I, we have not fed Elysia. Let's see what she thinks of tomato spaghetti. Okay, there, he, there you go. All right. And in this roulette wheel, we got uh, nothing. So don't need to go back, but we are going to go right here to the very end of this dungeon. Then after completion of this quest, you know the drill, another new quest. Either that or maybe we can actually go back to the... Uh... Okay, here we go. Wait, something sweet. That critter's got my treat. You hand that over now. So we're gonna go back. We could go back to the Galados Isle and uh, tackle on um, that area that looks like the Realm of the Fae. So we got some red orchies, I think. There you go. Three times in a row now that that righteous anger has worked. Red orochi. Okay, so that's what they're called. Monster dinner. Oh yeah. Snake Menier. Quick battle. <laughs> oh my goodness. The fortunes 
you know, the fortunes that I've ex that I've just witnessed, right? They're just so so much of a so stark of a contrast compared to yesterday's episode. Everything is coming so easy. And we see we get 11,280 bonus experience points you can give to Kristen. And uh, 1,650 gold. So this is the famed snack. Just a nibble. Hmm. This divine taste. Munch. It's just so good. But I'd be wrong if I kept this experience to myself. And very rare butterfly honeys we will get. You've done favors for 50 travelers at the Travelers Hub. Oh man. Jenny under the weather. All right, now level 17 between Chan Chan and Amy, and level 25 between me and Anya. As we get an event between Kristen and Bust. There was a bug on your face last night. It was really cute. Wow, really? Yeah, I got a good look at it. I watched it for about nine hours. You should have just gone to sleep. And now level 21. Alright, let's see if this roulette wheel gets any better in terms of its uh, award. Alright, we could get some Robo Juice as part of Grub. That's a very popular, it's very popular among the party. Oh. 10 HP bananas, which is, you know, the last thing we really want. We don't really consume a lot of them. Alright, so I'll settle for uh, budget Jolly John tickets. Give Chan Chan and Amy a trip. All right, let's go back into the Traveler's Hub and wrap up the episode by perhaps doing some errands, and then we're gonna try out try going back to the uh, Galados Isle. A culinarian princess, Umbreon. Ares from the Elven Retreat is so awesome. Like to be closer with her. Okay. And we can get five game tickets as a result. It's a delivery from Umbreon. A sofa. Nice plate, nice uh, piece of furniture to relax your body on. Oh wow, really wonderful. Ares is amazed. All right.
Hey, welcome back. How'd it go? What? She really liked it? Hehe, <laughs> am I good or what? Now Ares and I will be friends for sure, and it's all thanks to you. Here's a gift. Five game tickets. There's a level 35 from Eddie, a level 34. Alright, here's another Aaron, Sporty Cat Lesser Dog. A delivery man. I got a package for Lexi in the Greenhorn Castle. And more game tickets. It's a delivery from Lesser Dog. Handkerchief. Oh. Fancy, but why would the princess need a handkerchief? That's what I expected. Lexi isn't too pleased. Hmm. Well, don't, don't, uh, don't kill the messenger. Huh? She said it wasn't what she was expecting. Okay. Eh, five game tickets. A level 41, tough. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This was as straightforward of an episode as you can get it, ladies and gentlemen. I, I just could not believe, you know, how this episode turned out. Just a lot of good things happening. It's just like, you know, polar opposites from today's episode and yesterday's episode. And I wish that maybe this will carry into tomorrow, but uh, you never know. Um, perhaps everything will even out once... Uh, uh, <laughs> once we get back to the uh, Galados Isle um, and go for that uh, and explore that area that was uh, hard at first with all those uh, tough enemies in that Realm of the Fae look uh, well Realm of the Fae type setting um, and by the way that uh, what I'm referring to is located right near the Midland Marsh uh, specifically so that's what we're going to do tomorrow now that we're a lot more stronger and so, yes, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, remember, new episodes every single day, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.